What's up? I'm Gretz Grace and I'm back with a brand new video. Today we'll be covering manual self revive. I know that's kind of weird to say, like what is the difference between uh, like a manual and what's the other thing? The other thing is auto self revive. We'll be covering that in the quick revive tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next, as well as any questions that you have. Other than that, let's just get into the video. Go into your content drawer and pull out a down but not out device. Place this down and name this revive device. Down but not out, enabled that the yes. Revive time, three seconds. Last man standing, we want to put yes. Go into your content drawer and pull out a conditional button. Place it down and name it self revive item. Can be used by all players. And honestly, that's it for that item. But what I want you to do is go into your content drawer, and find a good item to represent your self revives. I'm using the mushroom, but you can use any of these items. Just make sure it can go into your inventory and doesn't take up a, make sure it doesn't take up a weapon inventory slot. Drop one of those into the device and then we should be good there. Go into your content drawer and pull out an input trigger. Place it down and name this self revive input trigger. HUD description, I want you to put use self revive. This is gonna be a manual. This is you actually holding the button to actually revive yourself. Registered player behavior, put required registered. Go into your content drawer and pull out a timer device. Place it down and name this self revive timer. Duration, make sure that's three seconds. Apply to, make sure it's player. Completion behavior, put reset. Display time in, put seconds only. Timer running text, put reviving yourself. Show on HUD should be on. Audio effects, turn off. Okay, so now we gotta do the mechanics. Go into your self revive item. That is the conditional button. Activate when receiving from revive device on player down. On activated, send event to self revive input trigger. We're going to register. This is going to take the item and give you the actual um, ability to revive yourself. Over to the self revive input trigger. Uh, register when receiving from, we set this up already, but we want to unregister when receiving from player death manager. Make sure that it unregisters the player on something like that. Also, you want to unregister from the revive device on player revived. As soon as you get up, that is gone. On input pressed, send event to self revive timer, and we're going to start it. On input released, send event to self revive timer, and we're going to reset that. Okay, go over to your self revive timer. On success, send event to revive device, we're going to revive player. And we should be good there. So let's start game and let's check it out. Make sure you have your revive item so you can actually test this. So I'm gonna use a rack launcher. I don't have anything pop up. I don't have any uh, input trigger. Let's revive myself. Let's reload. Okay, so let me grab the actual item. See, you see that turn blue, so that means I can actually do it. So when I go down, you see the use self revive input on the side over there. We're going to hold it, and as you hold it, it says revive. We can stop at any point, say if you don't need to. Maybe we don't want to revive yet, so move out the way. Then you can wait until you get to a certain distance or wherever you want to go. You hold it to revive yourself. Now you're back up. You're going to full die this time, and it should remove. So when you spawn back, you should have it. You shouldn't even have the item. Perfect. That is, and that is it. It's a simple, very simple mechanic. I see this being used for like some PVP, you know, the resurgence type mode here in Fortnite. So if you guys are thinking about making something like it, you want the full like self revives, all that stuff to go with it. This is perfect for PVP. And that is it for today's video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe actually. I'm trying to get to a thousand as fast as we can so I can drop that stackable perk system. I've been sitting on that video way too long. It's done, it's ready. I'm waiting for you guys actually. Make sure you guys go ahead and do that. Thank you for stopping by. I'm Gretz Crates. I'll see you in the next video. Peace!